So I want to preface this video by saying that Minecraft decided to record in this weird stretch resolution that just was not 1080 by 720 at all, and it wasn't the right border. So chat's going to be a little bit um, cut off for most of this video, but you kind of get the point. I hope you all enjoy me just exploring an old Minecraft server and talking about how great this game is. Wow. I feel like I'm missing like Minecraft history. I, I, I wish I could fly. This is a historical zone in which building quality is meticulously enforced. Do not be offended if any things you make within the wall are moved or removed. This will not happen in other parts of the server. So if you are new to building, you may prefer to start construction at another settlement behind the wall. Up here. Gosh. An elytra course? Oh, dear God. Visitor center. Monument most group locked. Stop breaking torches. This is so fucking cool. There's a guild. I don't know if I need food or not. What the fuck? I gotta wait 30, okay. I just don't need food, I guess. That's loud. I'm, I'm not even gonna go down there. Apparently this is the safe area. Ripoffs guaranteed. Welcome to spawn stables. Feel free to breed or tame horses. Horses are replaced, but please breed before taking. Dog, I don't even think there's food. There's no nothing. There's no saddle. Somebody the fucking took them all. A horse would have been great. Waiting for when I eventually run into some obscure ass character. This was a natural village. Monument to commemorate every player who strived to be the founders of their own town and thus added their own touch to improving the connect within the community of Minecraft Online. So it's cool seeing like natural. Okay, so this is spawn protected. It's cool seeing like natural stuff. Like this was a normal village that was just near spawn that they turned into something else. I wish that, um, I wish that, and like, I know that I was way too young, but a part of me wishes that I was able to experience being a part of whatever this is. People are voting on Planet Minecraft. On Planet Minecraft, dude. What the fuck? Like this? We can't? I'm not gonna. But I can, which means that we're finally kind of getting. We're kind of getting somewhere now. I also see the Optifine logo. What the f is that? I wish I could zoom in. The, the one time I'm not using Optifine or any sort of zoom in, I, sh I should have came in here with Optifine. a lava mo dark the fuck Evangelion this has gotta be Evangelion this is nerve HQ dude how I wonder how long that took to build 
like right on top of the of the LGBTQ plus center, we have Neon Genesis Evangelion. That uh, that house for peculiar children. Oh my God, it's Nessie. Be cool if I ran into. I will replant. Mods, please don't ban me. I'm replanting. I just wanted some food. I'll even leave the seed. I got literally one wheat from this. This is terrible. I'm gonna starve. This is terrible for me. Push in. Seeing some signs from. Kind of a while ago. Traveling. Somebody made a mine, a staircase down to somewhere over here. If I'd like to, I'd like to kind of not have to deviate off of a walking path as long as I could. God, I'm making a sign. And this is like classic crafting. In order to do that, you be a little mindful. <laughs> I, I haven't classic crafted in a while. People here from 2023. Somebody here from 22, 21. Somebody here from 2020. And the oldest sign that I've seen so far has been 2020. No, 2017. About to hit nighttime. And knowing these people, they're probably not gonna go to sleep because they have gear. So honestly, I might bunker down for the night and pause the recording. Just kind of temporarily live in quite literally anyone's house. I honestly don't even intend to put any sort of like, um, oh, wow, that's crazy. I don't even intend to put any sort of background music really in the video want it to be kind of me walking around and observing things which i understand isn't the most engaging thing on the platform nowadays but i feel like um when it comes to modern day youtube this is sort of a side tangent that i just kind of doing to fill in the void of the video but i feel like um that's actually so cool i haven't seen that glitch in so i feel like youtube has become too over edited and honestly i'm kind of guilty of it so i'm gonna live my life and edit less i'm sorry if this isn't as engaging i think that just kind of taking a second to observe how cool things are like beyond cool now i'm now i'm re i'm really hoping that I don't run into any sort of, um, hostile mobs. I just want to find, like, one thing in a chest. That chest earlier, they were like, the items were compromised if you need anything back, the admin. Like, that's cool. But a part of me wants to, like, really run into, like, something astounding. Somebody left, like, a diamond armor or something. But I'm pretty sure I can't take even if I wanted to. I just think it'd be so cool. Property of Joshi. Ooh! That, my friends, is the jackpot mother load. Just as I was talking about. Look at all this stuff in here. Now, again, admins, I have video evidence. I'm actually going to take this on. But I have video evidence that I didn't take anything of significance from those chests. This hasn't been touched since 2013. They blocked this off. Um, I promise not to grief. A 2013 house. If this is actually from 2013, then like this is the, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. 
Oh my god, y'all. This is this is nerve-wracking. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> I I didn't think. So we're going to continue on a different way. I'm honestly really embarrassed. I'm just going to Yeah, I I didn't expect to get stopped by an admin. <laughs> Yo, um admin if you were watching, if you're watching this video for whatever reason, um, I'm I'm sorry. I I just wanted to poke around. I just wanted to poke around. <laughs> so now that we know this, um, I'm gonna be more careful. Bubbles don't box. Nothing like there is stuff. Okay. So, like, people genuinely have, like, lived here. That's actually nuts, dude. So, people... <laughs> Mob shelter. Oh, shit. That's actually really cool. The fog is coming. <laughs> That's crazy. Literally my first day, and I already have a warning. That's terrible. I cannot believe that. <laughs> oh my god, that is... Oh my god, if I can get a wooden staircase to overlook the spawn, I would win. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know if... I don't know if any of these are, like, player-made blocks. How do I know what's player-made blocks and what's not? Is this a wild tree or is this a player built tree? I'm confused. Arm down there, which I, oh. We're alive, not even close, not even close. I guess we, I guess we just go check out the farm now. Some cocoa bean. God, I miss this old texture. Oh, we found the house of crafting tables just like just randomly oh wow i'm pretty sure 2b2t actually had like like issue with crafting tables a while back like you could use them to like lag people and it's it has its own cobblestone tree <laughs> or not cobblestone but you get the point i don't even want to go near that because i feel like that i'll, I'll voluntarily grieve that shit has me nervous. <laughs> Melon. Melons galore. I, I definitely feel like I could own. Okay. See, now we're here. Seeing signs here from 2017. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like 1996. Earliest signs that I'm seeing here has been 2017. Because some people are saying, oh, oh, that's that. But. Their built towns were always something that, like, intrigued me. I don't know of a lot of other games that have, like, a sense of community as much. Oh, this is why it's called Catville. And there's Super Mario over in the corner. <laughs> Genuinely, this is actually so sick. I miss when I was younger and Minecraft had like that genuine sense of community to it. Like it was so big, but still like incredibly niche, if that makes sense. It's Pesco's. There's like, there's genuinely, there, I'm flubbing my words. I don't know that many other games, like, you had play with other people. Minecraft, if you wanted to, so you had to socialize. There wasn't no bots you could play with, like, in Call of Duty or some shit. You had to interact. That's just a man with his dick out. You had to interact with people. And honestly, I kind of miss the old days of Minecraft before Discord and all that. Because now it's not so simple. Sure, you can still meet people playing Minecraft, but like... I was able to make some really 
deep friendships, even just to me. Some really deep friendships that still go on to this day. Even if we don't converse for literally months, we can pick up right where we left off and just have a fantastic fucking time. And I met some really great people from Minecraft. And I met some people that inspired me to pursue content creation. Seeing these old signs and like player builds really makes me wish that I took better care of my own personal worlds when I was like younger. It reminds me <laughs> of this um this shitty Five Nights at Freddy's thing that I built. It was like this custom thing and I would make my friends play it as if it was actually FNAF, except I was the only animatronic and I also knew everything and you didn't know shit. And I thought it was funny. I also remember this um this this bunker that I built when I when I first played Fallout 3 for the first time. This this old ass bunker and it was it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. That bunker was shit. And it took me hours to build this two block like two block high chamber and then I had to sit down and I had to remake everything. <laughs> I had to remake it all and then extend the like dirt mound that it was on because lo and behold um building takes time in this game there was also and this was one of my biggest projects from back on xbox 360 edition um and this was before anybody knew anything about yandere dev but i remember trying to build the high school like a one-to-one -one recreation in minecraft of that stupid fucking high school do you know how you know how annoying that was it took me genuinely like days to be able to actually sit down and make the make like just the first room like to the level of detail that i wanted and i remember i only got as far as maybe the courtyard in a couple classrooms before I eventually just laying out the world. And then one day, I remember logging on and my world was corrupted. If you have any stories of like that, of just like old memories that you used to have, I would love for you to leave them in the comments or um, anybody to read. For example, another one, there was this guy and I'm not gonna name drop him, but um, I remember meeting him years ago, just randomly. And, like, at this point, he probably completely forgot about me, but like that nigga was cool as shit and I haven't forgot about him yet. Me, him, and another old friend of mine, we, I remember we made this, um, this fucking fort in Minecraft. And like, I don't know why this fort was so significant to my childhood development. It just was. And we named it Fort Cobbletude. It was fucking amazing. It was just this stupid little fucking fucking fort in the nether so we didn't die to ghast when we first spawned in. I remember, it, and I didn't own the world, so we had to constantly ask him to be like, hey, I, we, we need you to get on Minecraft so we can play. And like, like he didn't always want to play Minecraft. It was obvious. But, you know, you, you can only do so much. And, and we always peer pressured. Shout out peer pressure. One day, um, that guy just didn't log on anymore. So eventually we made our own and then we made our own Fort Cobbletude. And I I never really had that many like creative projects when it came to Minecraft. I never made a lot of things. So I was more of the explorer. Believe it or not, I actually used to be really good at aiming with a bow and arrow in old console Minecraft. If you remember those goddamn bow and arrows, those shits were fucking annoying. I I oh my gosh. The just you would oh, if you remember the trajectory on those old bows and arrows, those things would literally fly and then just fucking instantly drop down. The bullet drop on those things were insane. It was ridiculous, and you'd only know if you experienced like prime fucking bow physics in like a stop in that game. It was terrible. I don't really know where this video was like 
supposed to be going? <laughs> I mean, it started off as me, like, doing this, like, silly little bit where I explored this old-ass Minecraft server and just have a fun time and all that shit. Maybe even interact with people, which I'm not going to do that. I'm socially awkward. I'm scared. I don't interact with people. I'm very nervous. <laughs> kind of slowly evolved into me kind of appreciating Minecraft. And even despite what a lot of shitty people have done in the past, I, I don't think there's any other game like it. The community, the players, the people. Just the experiences that I myself have personally had playing this game. There's never been nothing else like it, and I can't thank Minecraft enough for all of the experiences that it has given me throughout the years. I think I'm going to end the video here, but if you enjoyed the video and you have anything else that you want me to do, maybe play other games, maybe um, just do more chill shit, play whatever, play older versions, stuff like that, then you should tell me in the comments. Let me know. And I'll see all you guys next time. Thank you.